Let me hear you scream. Good morning, my beautiful believer. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing so good. That wig is on. It look good, baby. Like a chicken salad. I yes, it is. What's that? <laughs> okay. So, uh, how long have you been watching the show? For very time. Uh, I just joined Squad. Oh, that's my gang. Gang. Okay. <laughs> so that means you've been getting all the tea, honey. Yeah. Oh God. Do you have any words of wisdom for me, real quick? Just keep being you, and whatever is not for you ain't for you, and what's for you is for you. You kind of boss out of Sandra, but they say, Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. Hey, Lord. Hey, I'll take it. Uh, it's funny how my audience ministers back to me, so I want to give you uh, a level of grace for that. Now, what nationwide story would you like to discuss? And what is your name, Susan? Well, you Suzanne, <laughs> but what's your real name? Re <laughs> Regina. Regina. Regina George. <laughs> So what would, you, what would you like to discuss it for me to read on today's show? Okay, so the Young Thug case has been going on for a long time. Yeah, it's been going on for and a while. wondering what exactly is the outcome here? Like, Can you give me an update on what the recent developments have been? Um, all I've seen on Instagram is, you know, people going to the stand making a fool out of themselves and the acronyms being changed into you know, things that it don't, don't mean. I do remember them bringing the lyrics as um, evidence. Am I correct in saying yeah. that? Did they bring the lyrics? Yeah. I thought they did. So they're using his artistry to incriminate him further or attempting to. Now, do you know, he went up on the RICO charges, right? Do you know what a RICO charge is? What is that? Um, I think it's like organized crime. Uh, yeah. Like white collar crime type stuff, um, and this is—I I feel like this has been going on for for a year. Like, didn't it start last yeah. year? If I'm not mistaken, I remember reading it saying that he was gonna get off at one point in time. And all I've been seeing is him getting off on that food they serving in there because he big as the house, goddamn. I don't know what the hell that. Yeah, I mean, it's to the point where I don't think he can wear his dresses no more. You know what I'm saying? Because he outgrew the dress, he gonna have to borrow some of Tyler Perry clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna let you ask me the questions and you can end by asking a question for yourself. Give me two questions about this case. Make the third one about you. What would you say? Um I wanna know like how case they wrap it up this okay. year. Uh right. yeah, so like a time frame of when it's actually gonna uh be resolved. Yeah. Summer of two thousand and twenty four and there is good news at the end of the case. <laughs> I'm taking that as a sign because my teeth about damn came out my mouth when I was reading that. Um, I wonder, does this deal with his money or anything of this nature? Is he coming out broke or something? Did he lose like some um ties with people that he was making money with while he was in there? Because this looked like he's gonna come out and be a slight bit fragile. <laughs> And I'm talking about the financial department. Now, I know he's a part of a label that got multi-millions. So maybe they might not work him afterwards or something of this nature. Um, but that is definitely a part of the case. I'm going to put this on late June, early July. Between that time frame, I think we'll get some good news. And I don't feel like he's going to serve prison time or anything for these RICO charges. Uh, the Atmos Tarot card shows up in reverse. So there is a, uh, you know, like a... Um, I got some hidden intel or something. Like, there's a bullet in the chamber. Like, okay, if this shit get real bad, then we gon' boom. And the next thing you know, boom. You know what I'm saying? So, I think they're trying to play the legal game right now, but they actually might have some blackmail on the damn judge for all I motherfucking know. You never know what the gangs be doing. You know what I'm saying? But I will say between, I'm gonna say around June 20th to August the 2nd, I feel like he will be uh, receiving good news about the case. <laughs> Yeah. Second question about this. Um, so I know like a video was leaked recently of him and Mariah the scientist uh having a jail call. So that was leaked like maybe a few days ago. Um, so is that like part of the reason why the trial is gonna go his way? Interesting. Now Mariah 
Hi, the scientist. Uh, she's an artist. I only remember one song that she has come out with, though. Um, why would you ask me if it would go her way, their way because of her? She got legal ties or something? No, because like, like uh, the video being leaked, like, uh -huh. like he can have use that as leverage as some sort of like misconduct. Oh. Um, okay, misconduct from like the 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 right. court system or something of this nature. Okay, let me see. No, but him and Mariah the Scientist got something going on. I actually think this was a very personal call. I feel like this was uh, her rendering encouragement. Have they known each other for an extended period of time? Because this is talking about uh, they could have had a connection prior to um, him going into to jail or something of this nature. Uh, I just found out who she was. I love her name, though, and she is a very pretty girl. <laughs> For that. I think over the weekend I'll get into her discography, but no, I don't think that that had anything to do with the case. I just think that was comfort, okay? That's what I feel. Um, does she like him wearing dresses? Uh, she said, oh, you're so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and a question for you. If you could ask Boots anything today, what would it be? Um, I guess, okay, so I'm, I'm an accountant. And I'm not that happy with my current job, so I'm wondering if I can find some if something else. Okay, I see I see you looking in November and December, not so much this month though. What's the hole up on this month? Are you trying to figure out what you want to kind of go into? For some reason I'm feeling like school might be on your mind. Is that a true statement? Okay, hold on. And is this for legal? Uh working You say who? the it's accounting, so working with the IRS. Oh, uh uh, oh, you the feds. <laughs> <laughs> sure, you make my damn pussy pop. Uh, the Viper card shows up upright and the Final Destination card shows up upright. I feel like you're going to end up making a shift in the month of March of 2024 here. Marvel also shows up upright suggesting that you haven't been fully inspired yet. Expect that to change going into February. So if in December, going into this month, you turn the page over in the end, and you're like, okay, what what am I doing again? Like, it's, it feels like a false start. Let's just consider the start of your year being in February and January don't count for you. Okay? <laughs> I'm having to do the same thing. I think everybody should after Cat Williams, no shit. <laughs> okay. So this is basically saying that uh, inspiration will be dawned upon you around the first week of February, and then going into April, you have switched gears, but you're also being educated in something else. So this could be a trade, real estate, uh, you trapped in something, or you rendering advice as a teacher of sorts, okay? And I mean, raise your hand in the comment section if you could use a freelance accountant. <laughs> okay. So maybe this could be also taking what you know and doing it for you and not for someone else at this time. Now, I'll tell you this. I mean, Boots might be hiring, so stand by, girl. <laughs> okay? I love you, and I'll see you later. Have a good day. Yeah. Now, I don't know how to hang you up, girl. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can. Here we go. <laughs> later. Okay. 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 I I don't I don't I don't hate that. I mean, from a, from one to five, what would you rate the how the process of calling in a guest Suzanne on Fridays is gonna go? Rate it. 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 Bitch, I'm spreading up for that air freshener. You got the shouting in this motherfucker. Every day. <laughs> <laughs>